by far the number one question that I get asked, how do you ship golf clubs? The short answer, in a box through UPS. The long answer, stay tuned. For starters, all of these single clubs can ship in the same box. We've got a putter, a fairway wood, a hybrid, a wedge, and a single iron. And they can all ship in a 4x4x48 four by four by box, and they're all going to use the same process. So no matter which club you're shipping, you're going to start the same way. And I just picked an 8 iron here for demonstration purposes. Basically, just get a small square of bubble wrap and tape the head. Just put it nice and tight, and that's pretty secure. Next, we want to lay our box out, got our club on top, and we want to line up the bottom of the club with the crease of the flaps of the box. Obviously, there's a lot of room left up here. We're going to cut that off, but there's a trick to it. So I know I need at least two inches past the end of the club to make flaps that will completely close the box, but I want a little bit more. I'll tell you why in a minute, but I typically double that number to four, but it's certainly not an exact science. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to cut it somewhere in here. You can see I've unfolded my box. I've got one end taped shut, and I've got the other end where I cut it. I'm gonna put my eight iron down in there, handle sticking up, and you can see there's a lot of room left at the top there. So what I'm gonna do is take my little cardboard cutter knife here, and I really like this thing. It's not real sharp. It doesn't cut you like a razor knife would, and it's also not gonna damage the golf club. But I'm actually gonna cut this straight down until I hit the top of the club. I'm gonna do that on all four corners. So I've got my four flaps cut down to the top of this golf club. I'm actually going to move the top to the center of this box and then take this flap and fold it down and around the top of the club like that. I'll take the other side, push it down in there as well, and that actually holds the club in place. It doesn't flop around. And you just fold these two flaps right here down. You can cut it here and cut off the excess, tape it up, and you're good to go. And like I said, this works for a putter, a fairway wood, an iron, a hybrid, just about anything that'll fit in a 4x4 box. Just to give you an idea of what it would cost to ship this one club, I'm using Pirate Ship to show you the rates from South Carolina to California. The dimensions are 5x5x40, the weight is 1 pound 11 ounces, and you can see that through UPS Ground it would cost $11.42 to ship. Through Parcel Select, the Postal Service, you're looking at $26.25. Also, I use Pirate Ship, even though the rates are the same on eBay. That allows me to get free hotel rooms. I'll link that video in the description. Next up, these huge drivers, and that's not fitting in a four by four box, no matter how hard you push it. You wanna use a six by six for that one. Slides right in. It's basically the same process. You want to bubble wrap the head, put it in the box, but there's one thing you got to know. So I've got the driver in the box and you can tell there's not much room there. In theory, you could put a piece of paper in here and a piece of bubble wrap. You'd be good to go. Unfortunately though, this box when it's closed actually measures closer to 49 inches. If you ship something via UPS over 48, they're going to charge you a handling fee. Typically it's like 12 or $15. Definitely want to avoid that. So you want to cut this down on the corners, just like we did on the eight iron fold it over and get below that 48 inches. And to ship that huge driver from South Carolina to California, we're gonna use the outside dimensions of the box. That's seven by seven by 48. Weight is one pound 14 ounces. And you can see the UPS ground rate is 24.67 versus 41.35 for the postal service. Next up, a full iron set. This is a set of Cobra Baffler blades. We're actually gonna split this set up. It's a three through pitching wedge, so eight clubs. We're gonna do four clubs here, four clubs there. Let me show you. So I've got my clubs split up into sets of four. The first set of four, I'm gonna use this one piece of bubble wrap and wrap the heads. Definitely want to get this tape on here good and tight. Now that I've got my heads wrapped, I do want to put a piece of bubble wrap on these grips. That's basically to hold them together.
Now I'm going to do the exact same thing with the other four clubs. Now that I've got them bubble wrapped and secure on both ends, I've actually got them placed in opposite direction. Got heads to grips, heads to grips, and that allows me to put them together tightly and slip them into that six by six by 48 box. As you can see, I've got the clubs in here. There's a lot of excess room. We're definitely gonna cut this down, fold these flaps over just like we did to start off with, but also gonna put this piece of bubble wrap down in here so that they're not flopping around. Once we do that, fold those flaps down, we're good to go. Also, I do usually keep some five by five by 48 boxes on hand. They're more suitable for these iron sets. They fit down in there nice and snug. You don't have to use that bubble wrap, but if you're just starting out, you definitely don't wanna buy too many different sizes of boxes. Once again, shipping from South Carolina to California, we're using the dimensions of seven by seven by 47, a package weight of nine pounds and seven ounces. And you can see that UPS ground is $23.22, which is actually a dollar less than it costs to ship just that one driver. That's because the box is one inch shorter, even though it's five times as heavy. Okay, so what about full sets like this? I mean, you got the clubs, you got the bag, you got everything all together. And honestly, I don't typically sell adult clubs that way. Typically, I'll break out the irons, break out the wood, sell the putter separately, sell the bag separately. I think you guys get the point. But this is a set of kids clubs, and kids clubs actually sell better all together as a set. So let me show you how I ship those. And you can use the same method to ship an adult set if you wanted to. So first thing I'm gonna do is actually put a little piece of bubble wrap on each one of these clubs that don't have a head cover. This one's got a head cover. I'll leave it like it is. So now that I've got all this wrapped in bubble wrap, here comes the fun part. I'm actually gonna take a big piece of bubble wrap and wrap all of this together. And now that we've got a nice, neat package that brings us to our next size box. This is a 10 by 10 by 48. And this is gonna slip right down into it. So once again, we're gonna put a little bit of bubble wrap around the edges here. We do have a little bit of excess in the height. We're gonna cut these down, fold the flaps over. You're good to go, pretty simple. The cost to ship this complete kid set across the country is pretty expensive. We're using dimensions of 11, 11 by 46. Package weight is 12 pounds. UPS ground is gonna cost $47.79, which seems like a lot, but check out Priority Mail, $142.04. Almost $100 more. Next up, golf bags. And for a smaller stand bag like this, I'm typically gonna use a 10 by 10 by 48 box. For a bigger cart or staff bag like this one, I'm gonna to have to use a 12 by 12 by 48. And sometimes they get even bigger than this and you have to kind of Frankenstein two together. But typically it's a pretty simple process. Just wrap these up in bubble wrap or you can use a lawn and leaf bag to cover them before you put them in the box. Cut the box down and you're good to go. I have seen people will just wrap them in heavy duty plastic and ship them that way. It's probably okay to do that. I just don't trust it myself, especially when you've got metal legs like this one here that could get bent. Real quick tip, having these big bulky golf bag boxes around can kind of take up a lot of space, especially if you have to buy them in multiples. So if you need just one or two, just head down to your local U-Haul store. You can pick up a lamp box or a sport utility box. They work just as well and they're pretty reasonably priced. I did have to ship that Ben Hogan cart bag recently and it fits snugly in a 12 by 12 box. That box was cut down to 35 inches and the total weight was 12 pounds, three ounces. Going to California, that would cost $50 and two cent. Look at priority mail, 145.59. Luckily, I only had to ship mine to Virginia. I also get a lot of questions on where I get my boxes from and honestly, I'm blessed to have a local supplier. So if you're in the Southeast, check out boxes.com. That's corrugated containers. They've got great customer service and pretty competitive prices. I've also linked some down below that you can get off of Amazon, but there's also several different sites online where you can buy good boxes. This is absolutely not the only way to ship golf clubs. This is just the way I do it, and hopefully you guys got something out of the video. We'll see you next time.